Thirty ways to use the English word "run" from EspressoEnglish.net. Here's why you need to be careful when studying lists of the most common words in English. Many of these words have multiple meanings and uses, including inside idiomatic expressions. You're going to see that in today's lesson. The basic definition of run is to move quickly using your legs. For example, the athletes are running towards the finish line, or the dog ran after the car. Run is also an informal way to say leave or go. For example, sorry, I can't talk now. I've got to run. He had to run to a meeting. He'll be back later. Run can also mean to manage or direct a business, process, or operation. For example, she runs a tutoring business. I'm running a special project this month. When talking about transportation, run means that a vehicle travels over a regular route. For example, the bus runs every ten minutes. Run can also be used when a machine is working. For example. Don't put your hand in there while the machine is running. He left the car's engine running while he went into the store. Run is also used when liquid is flowing out. For example, my nose is running. I need a tissue. Tears ran down her face. There's no running water in the village. Running water refers to the modern system where you can turn on the faucet. In the sink, and water comes out automatically. Run is also used when someone is a candidate for political office. For example, Melanie is running for state senator. Joe ran for president twice. And also, run can be an informal way to say cost. For example, repairs to your air conditioner can run you a couple thousand dollars. Run is also used in phrasal verbs like run into, which means encounter. For example, I wasn't expecting to run into my dentist at the nightclub, or we didn't finish on time because we ran into a few problems. Run over is used when a car passes over something. For example, I ran over a rabbit while driving home from work. If something runs out, it means the supply of that thing is finished, and now no more is available. For example, we ran out of popcorn, and I had to go buy some more. The kids have been fighting all day, and my patience is about to run out. To run something by someone means to get that person's opinion or get their approval. For example, at work, you might say this to a coworker: "I have a couple ideas I'd like to run by you." Now let's look at some idiomatic expressions with "run." If someone is on the run, it means they are in a hurry, or they are trying to escape from the police. For example, I don't have time for hobbies because I'm always on the run. In this case, it means in a hurry with little time. Three criminals escaped from prison and are currently on the run. This means trying to escape from the police. In the long run means for a long period of time or in the far future. For example, I know it's not fun to do exercise, but it's good for you in the long run. To run a red light means to drive illegally through a red traffic light. For example, he got a ticket after running a red light. If something runs in the family, that means it's a common characteristic in a biological family. For example, mental illness seems to run in her family. To give someone a run for their money means to compete very well against someone who is an established expert. For example, Johnson is the reigning gymnastics champion, but I think Smith will give him a run for his money this year. To run errands means to do the necessary tasks of daily life outside the house. For example. I ran some errands this afternoon. I went to the bank, post office, and supermarket. If something runs like clockwork, it means it functions perfectly effectively and on time. For example, everything was very well organized, and the conference ran like clockwork. 
To run out of gas or run out of steam means to lose energy or lose momentum. For example, I ran out of steam halfway through the marathon and didn't finish. Run rampant means to spread, grow, or develop out of control. For example, the disease is running rampant through the countryside. The adjective run of the mill means that something is average, typical, and nothing special. For example, we were served a run of the mill red wine that wasn't particularly memorable. To hit a home run means to have an especially successful achievement. For example, his first three companies failed, but he hit a home run with the fourth one. This expression comes from baseball. A home run is when a player hits the ball so far that it actually goes out of the field. The expression the run up refers to the period of time leading up to an important event. For example, the competitors are all training hard in the run up to the tournament. To run a tight ship means to keep very strict discipline. For example, the director runs a tight ship. She won't accept excuses for sloppy mistakes. Run interference means to block or handle problems on behalf of another person. For example, the author gets a lot of mail, so she has a personal assistant to run interference for her. This expression comes from American football, where one player might run interference, meaning to block players from the other team. So that his teammate with the ball can have a clear path. The expression "have the runs" means to have diarrhea. For example, after I ate some pork from a street vendor, I had the runs for a couple of days. To run someone ragged means to make the person extremely tired by keeping them busy or overworked. For example. The boss has run the whole team ragged by expecting us to work until midnight every day. The expression "run counter to" is another way to say "be in opposition to." For example, his views run counter to those of his coworkers. To have a good run means to have a period of success. For example, the band had a good run in the 1990s with several world tours. And finally, run the gamut means to cover a wide range. For example, her hobbies run the gamut from stamp collecting to water skiing. If you're looking for a fun and effective way to improve your vocabulary without boring word lists, check out my vocabulary builder course. The lessons in the course will help you learn new vocabulary in context, with lots of pictures to help you remember the words. Visit espressoenglish.net and check out the Vocabulary Builder course.